so much for... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love you, too. And I really... <laughs> woo, woo. All right, thank you for coming. This is our last show until, I, I know. We will be back January 19th to talk about all the mass shootings and masturbating actors <laughs> that make America the greatest country in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I need a break. I'm not gonna lie. We, I think we all need a little break, right? I mean, this has been a tough year for America, for truth, for women, for potted plants. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start with the, the harassers. I watched Entertainment Tonight last night. It was just a half hour of Nancy O'Dell throwing up into a bucket. I, uh, <laughs> but if there's any bright spot in it, down in Alabama, where Roy Moore is... <laughs> and you'll admit it, that's quite a... From Alabama. Uh, where Roy Moore is running for the Senate on the Republican ticket. His opponent, the Democrat in Alabama, Doug Jones, is ahead in the polls. Wow, in Alabama. <laughs> and political... <laughs> and uh, political experts are saying that his recent surge is due to not fucking kids. <laughs> yeah, that's where we are in America. Yeah, Roy Moore has nine accusers now, and Moore said he would not drop out. Moore had a press conference yesterday. Judge Roy Moore, he said, we need... He's not dropping out because he said, we need moral value back <laughs> in our country. And then O.J. came up to discuss anger management. <laughs> wow. These guys, they got big balls. You got to give them that. Yeah, I mean, all these accusers are coming forward. One girl said that Roy Moore hit on her uh, when she was at the mall. As you do when you're the district attorney in your 30s. <laughs> so she didn't give him her phone number, so Roy Moore called the principal of her school, who called her in. And you know what his... <laughs> you know what his excuse is? He said, I don't remember dating any girl without the permission of her mother. <laughs> I'm a chivalrous child molester. <laughs> That's where we... In Alabama, of course, a high school senior's a MILF. You know, that's... <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> I mean, when I think of Alabama back then, I think of their horrendous civil rights record. But, you know, forget the police dogs, get the DA to stop humping my leg. <laughs> And, you know, he was, you heard this? Roy Moore was banned from the mall? Yeah. Too creepy for an Alabama mall? <laughs> That's like being too fat for the Iowa State Fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too high for Burning Man, I mean... <laughs> And then there's another woman who came forward who said she went to see Roy Moore in his office in 1991 to sign some custody papers, and Moore grabbed her very hard in the butt. She was 28, uh, but Moore says in his defense, she looked much younger. <laughs> so, you know, Fox News has not really wanted to talk too much about the sexual harassment when it was Roy Moore or Donald Trump or everybody at Fox News. <laughs> And then Al Franken came along yesterday, right? Very disturbing. I was so shaken, I called Bill Cosby to see if he had anything that could calm me down. <laughs> I, I, I know Bill has stuff like that. Um, but <laughs> as I'm sure you know by now, when Al was on a USO tour in Iraq in 2006 with Leanne Tweeden, he released a picture where he's mock groping her while she's sleeping, not cool at all. And then he wrote a sketch where they were kissing as a pretext to actually force a kiss on her. This is what she says. So Al's a friend, but Al, I gotta tell you, if you write a comedy sketch where you, Al Franken, <laughs> kiss a model and the next line of dialogue isn't get off of me creepy, it's not comedy, it's science fiction. <laughs> so he did... He did a bad thing. And the condemnation has been universal, which he deserves. What he doesn't deserve is to be lumped in with Roy Moore, or Kevin Spacey, or Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> 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 
or Donald Trump. Yeah. Who, who, Donald Trump calls his accusers liars, threatened to sue them, did long riffs at his rallies. We would say that they were too ugly for him to assault. Oh, Plus, with Al Franken, we're talking about one incident. Yeah. Trump has 16 accusers. Roy Moore has nine. Roy Moore spent more time chatting up young girls at the mall than Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> So how, how about another Me Too campaign where it's, I can tell two unlike things apart. Me Too. <laughs> I know the difference between a man who once acted like a dick and a man who is a dick. Yeah. Me Too. Yeah. I know the difference between someone who behaved like a high schooler and someone who targeted high schoolers. Yeah. Me Too. In overseas news, <laughs> but there is some overseas. I mean, Trump got back from his big 12-day trick. Did you see this, his, his speech to declare his 12-day Asian trip a huge success? <laughs> a better trip than anybody ever had. They love me more than Obama over there. And did you see this speech yesterday? Oh, my God, he was racing through it like... <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> Kept taking drinks of water. Did you see that? It... He never actually fought in Vietnam, but he still came home with a drug problem. I don't understand. <laughs> and... <laughs> Everybody made a big deal of him taking the water. You know what? I don't care if Trump drank water during his speech. I want to see if Trump can keep talking when Putin, Putin takes a drink of water. 